In this video, I'll be talking about Strava Live segments on the Garmin Edge cyclic computers. I'll show you how to set it up, and then I'll talk about some functionality and give you some tips about it. Now, the first thing that I have to mention is the only way that this works is if you have a Strava Premium account. So if you're not paying for a Strava Premium, you cannot get live segments. Now, I have heard that there is a workaround. I don't know it, and so I'm not going to show it on this video. But Strava is a great app. They're a great company, and I really believe in supporting them because of what they do for the cycling community and how good the app and program is. So I do recommend becoming a premium member, and that's the only way that you're going to get Strava Live segments on the Garmin. So with that, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is set up a Garmin Connect account if you haven't already done so. So uh, I'm going to go to www.garminconnect.com. And I've already got my account set up, so it's going to log in here and it'll show all of my information. Uh, and if you don't have an account set up, uh, just come here, uh, get it going, and uh, that way you can do a lot with your phone. You can put the app on your phone and all that. Uh, but make sure that account is set up first. The next thing that I recommend you doing if you have especially a new Garmin is hook your Garmin up to the computer. So use the USB cable, hook it up to the computer. While you're on Garmin Connect, come over here to Devices. Now I don't have mine hooked up, um, but if I never hooked it up before, uh, there's a chance it's not going to show up here. So what you want to do is after you go to devices, it will recognize the device and then you can activate it here on Garmin Connect. That way it's registered. And you see I actually have two devices. I have an Edge 510 and now an Edge 520. And so they're both being recognized by Garmin. But again, after you set up your Garmin Connect account, hook the Garmin up to the computer and then come over here to devices and activate it. All right, now I am on a Strava account. This is not mine because this is one that has not been set up uh, to connect with Garmin Connect. So we've set up our Garmin Connect account. Now you log into Strava and go up here where your little icon is, mouse over it, and then go to settings. So click on settings, and then you're going to see here it says connect with Garmin. So you would click there and then you would click on authorize app and it's going to ask you your login information for Garmin Connect. So whatever username and password you set up for Garmin Connect you would enter it here and this will link your Strava account to Garmin. And this is helpful not only for doing Strava Live segments but it's extremely helpful for when you finish a ride uh, what happens is you hit pause or hit pause in your Garmin unit, you save the ride, and it uploads to Garmin Connect, and then within about 30 seconds just goes right on over to Strava. So you never have to hook your Garmin up to the computer when it's uh, linked, when your Strava account is linked with Garmin Connect, it will just immediately upload to Garmin Connect and then right over to Strava. Now in order for Strava Live segments to show up, you have to star them on Garmin. And you can do this on the computer, you can do it on your phone. And I'm going to go to Explore and we'll go to Segment Search. And you can you know, search the map or whatever and find a segment. And Actually, I'm going to go to Segment Explore. And then so you're going to find your segment and then you can star it. So I'm just going to grab a random one here and just to show you. So let's click on this one and I'm going to go into view details and you'll see up here this little star next to it and so you would need to start to star the segment this will cause it to show up in your Strava live segments or what you can do is you can click on set goal now you'll see that this this account is not a premium account so I couldn't set a goal but you can set a goal and that will also cause it to show up in live segments. Now one thing about setting goals that I'll mention that I noticed is Strava will not let you set a goal if the overall segment is downhill. Uh, which, you know, it's kind of weird because 
I found segments that are pretty much flat. They're just slightly downhill. You never even know it while you're riding. Uh, and you cannot set a goal. Then there's segments that overall they're uphill, but, but it might have a sick downhill in the middle. So it's not real consistent, but I guess it's Strava's way of making it safe. Um, but again, if it's uh, slightly downhill, you can't set a goal, but you can star it and it'll show up in your Strava Live segments. And I just want to show you real quick on your phone that you can star segments just as easily. So I've come up here, this is an Android phone, it's a little bit different on iOS, but I go to explore and just find a segment, click on it, and you'll see a little star right here, and you would just tap the star, and that would star the segment, and again, that's how you get it to show up on Strava Live segments. Now, I highly recommend downloading the Garmin Connect app. So go to the App Store or Play Store, and you want to get this Garmin Connect app, and that way you rarely have to hook your Garmin up to the computer with a USB cable. It'll sync through the app. So you would connect it, you know, you go through your Bluetooth and find it and everything. And you can do that uh, by going to de uh, Garmin devices down here. Uh, and I don't have my Garmin on, so it can't find it. But you would just link it up through Bluetooth. And every time you turn the Garmin on, usually you don't even have to open the app. It will sync your phone to the Garmin. And that's how you get it to put the live segments on your Garmin, as I'll show you here in a minute. And also how you get Garmin to upload your rides as soon as you save them on the Garmin. It'll go through the app up to Garmin and like I said over to Strava if you have it linked with Strava. Okay now I've got the Garmin on. This is the next thing you're going to need to do. If you hit the down arrow on the 520 and we're going to go to training and you'll see here it says Strava Live Segments. If you've not enabled this yet, you're not going to see this. And you would go to Segments, and then you would select it, and then it's going to enable you to um, enable the Strava Live Segments. So you, I, I believe you really have to do that before Strava Live Segments show up. So if you don't see Strava Live Segments here, go select it, and you um, will take into a, be taken into a menu where you... Uh, enable the Strava Live segments. Now we're going to go into the, the segments and if you've followed the steps that I've done, so set up your Garmin Connect, um, you know, linked it to Strava uh, and you've enabled the live segments, when you go to the menu, so I'm going to go to training again and I'll actually go into the live segments here. Now you're going to see all these segments. These are all the segments that I've starred and after you have synced the Garmin to Garmin Connect, either through the app, which is what I recommend, or through your computer, all the live segments will show up. And so every time you power on the Garmin, if it's, uh, you know, especially if you've got the app on your phone, if you've starred another segment, it'll show up here. Now, one thing that I would recommend you doing after you have gone through all these steps is go to Segment Options. And then you're going to see Enable Disable. So select that. And you're going to go to Enable All. So Enable All Segments. I'm going to go to OK. And that will get them ready to show up while you ride. So what's going to happen now is you approach a segment. It's going to tell you you're approaching it. And then it'll give you your feedback during that segment. Now you can enable and disable segments individually. So I'd come back in here to Strava Live Segments. I'll just go to the very top one here. So I'll select it. And it's going to give you some information on the segment, which is really neat. Um, you can go to the map and you can go to elevation. You can even look at the leaderboard. Uh, so you can see the leader here. And um, I believe it will also give you your information. So I'm going to go to one that I know I've done. Like I don't think I've done that one that I just showed. So let's go back to leaderboard. And it'll show here. Okay, I've done it. It'll show my PR and it'll show the king of the mountain. Okay, so that gives me the information. But you'll see here the next one down is enable live feedback. You'll see it's already selected because I did enable all. But if you didn't want it to show up on your Garmin, um, you could disable that and then go back and enable it. You can disable all, just like we enabled all, in case you just didn't want them popping up. So then before you ride, you would just enable the segments that you want to pop up. Because what I've noticed is like on a mountain bike ride, 
I'll get segments to pop up if I'm on a trail that has a lot of Strava segments. They'll, they'll be popping up as I ride. So sometimes it's a little annoying if you really don't care about those segments. So that's the scenario where you would want to go and disable all and then just, and then just enable the ones you want to do that day. I do want to show you this on the 510 for those of you who do use the 510. I haven't really used Strava Live segments a lot on the 510. They do show up. Uh, but to get to Strava Live segments, you tap on your folder and you'll see here Strava Live segments. You would go here and these are all the segments. And you do pretty much the same thing. To enable all, you would tap on this menu button and go to enable all and then select it. So pretty much the same way, just a little bit different with the touch screen. All right, I'm out on the ride. I want to show you how this works. So I'm rolling up to a segment. At the top, it shows my PR. And then at the bottom, it tells me how far I am to go and the name of the segment. And I know it's bright out here, but hopefully you can see a little bit of that. So I'm getting close to it. And then when I get to it, it's going to say go. And I will do my best to keep the camera on here. Getting close. Okay, I'm at the segment. It says go. Still showing my PR at the top. Now, I'm going to stop here and see if it still goes. It shows me how far I am behind and then it shows me the distance to go in the segment. Now if I hit the menu button, it says change goal. I can hit that, select that, and right now the goal is set on PR, but I can also set the KOM. So if I wanted to go to KOM, I scroll down, select KOM, and then it still shows me how far I am behind. Okay, so rolling on the segment, it'll show me how far I am behind or ahead on the bottom, so if it's red, you're behind, it's not red, you're ahead. And then distance to go shows on the bottom left and you got the map. And then it's got your goal at the top. So I set this to KOM, so it shows the KOM that I'm shooting for on this segment. So when your virtual partner finished, who is the one that you're trying to beat, either your PR or your KOM, you'll get that audible alarm and it'll say virtual partner finished. And then it'll keep showing the map and your time. And then when you get to the end, it'll tell you your, your time for that segment. So I get this alarm and it says segment complete, my final time. And that's how you know how you did on that segment. There are a few last things that I want to mention about live segments on the Garmin that you need to be aware of. First, if you've mapped out a course on Garmin Connect and you've downloaded it to the Garmin and you're following it, you will not get Strava Live segments to show up on the Garmin. Now when you get back and you look at your ride on Strava either on your phone or your computer after you've uploaded it, usually you'll still see the data for that segment and you'll get your results. It's just it won't show up live on the Garmin. And I hope that's something that Garmin corrects because it's really nice if you're in an area you're unfamiliar with and you want to navigate to the segment and maybe through the segment, it's nice to be able to do that and still get the live segment. So again, hopefully that's something Garmin will, will correct. The other thing that I want to mention is if you're on a mountain bike trail that's real, real curvy, there are times when it's it, the Garmin thinks you go off course. So either the GPS signal may be a little off or just the mapping is a little off of the trail. And if you don't get back on segment, on course, and it'll tell you, you know, off course or off segment, if you don't get back on soon, it will just drop the live segment after about 30 seconds. Uh, and then you won't have the live segment, the live segment, the rest of that segment. Now, again, when you get back and look at your data on Strava, you'll still see your results for that segment. So it still shows up on your phone or computer when you're looking at your ride. It's just you won't have it live on the Garmin. So that's going to wrap it up for this video showing you how to set up live segments and some, some tips about using it and how it works. Uh, so hopefully this video has cleared up some confusion you may have about live segments and helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And if it was helpful for you, if you don't mind, just give it a thumbs up for me.
Thanks for watching.